and then you get the the eye win pretty fast ah oh, yeah this part that's cool I don't remember that one either boom did he did this so okay. with the lightning strike in the background yeah that that scene actually could be fucking nice in the remake yeah yeah that's cool that that part is cool because what we didn't showed you is that if you fight the Midgar Zolom, you get your ass kicked. Like, the, the monster strike for about 1,500 hit points, or 1,000 hit points each time he strikes. So, and we have about 500 hit points, I don't know. So, it just shows you this crazy strong monster, and then you've reached the other part of the... Uh, on this section and you and you see that Sephiroth just was quicker than you and he just managed to by himself kill like the strongest monster you ever encountered in the game so it just it's kind of a it kind of put kind of put thing in perspective oh oh shit the ah. things there. okay so uh, for me it was a pretty nifty trick of uh, storytelling without without even using a cutscene really so for me it was really cool. It really helped like set Sephiroth as a total badass. Oh shit, I thought I was fire at all. Ah yeah. Uh, so a uh, two part two thing about the Merlin Mines, so, sorry I'm just dropping pro tips right there. Pro tips! Uh um, stage two attack? Uh, that's weird. What's a stage two attack? I don't know. Um Yeah, uh the first thing, uh, you can earn uh, uh, enemy skill materia, uh, not materia, but an enemy skill for your materia by uh, by waiting for the little dragon dra dragon thingy. Oh shit! It kills him. Yeah, that's that's it. Flamethrower. That's the enemy skill. But I've removed it, of course, to set my chocobo order because I'm a piece of shit. So oh, yeah, you. It. Yeah, so uh, let's let's set it back in. So, yeah, uh, we uh, we would have learned uh, flame core, which is a, a pretty strong attack. And he does it again, bastard. An asshole. What an asshole. Oh, but yeah. then we have the. Uh... Yeah, use the healing wind. Oh, next time. Cool. All right, so I, I have to uh, to put back the uh... enemy skill chariot. Yeah. So, I, I'm not sure I get it, you just put a uh, kind of a, a choco, chocobo lore? Yeah, speaking of convoluted, the the system of getting chocobos in Final Fantasy VII is pretty freaking convoluted. And it's also totally cryptic, You, uh, you're, it's kind of mandatory to get a, a walkthrough on the internet to, to get on... Uh, to get the way out to raise like blue, green, black and gold chocobos. If there is a guy that gives like tips on how to raise chocobos, but if, if the chocobo sage in the what the, the fuck is that? Cookies, uh, 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 like, they're like fleshy and weird. Uh. But yeah, about about the chocobo uh, uh, breeding, that's that's a pain in the ass. It takes about ten hours to get your gold chocobo, so you so you may get. Like the strongest materials in the game. So. Why is she on the ground? Uh, she, she has a status ailment. She's. It's darkness or. Uh, oh, yeah? You got that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, I see it. I'm not here. Oh, she missed. Yeah, and the second part is that it's a good place. When we, we, when we talked about killing enemies to raise your limit level, the Mitral Mine are a really good place to start because you can often fight patches of four or five enemies that are kind of weak. So... Mind Source. Yeah. What's a Mind Source? Uh, mind Source is uh, if you want to permanently, uh, permanently raise your character spirit or Guard Source is for defense. Oh, it's shit. gonna give one extra point, so... Okay, so we should give that one to Barret and the other one to Iris, right? Uh... Yep. Yeah. Let's do that. But in fact, we're gonna lose Iris, so... Should we give it to someone else? Get out of the bag, people! Uh, just put it to Cloud. Cloud's always on your team, so it's a good bet. Alright. Uh, 
So yeah, uh, good place to, to gain level of limits, good place to get your flamethrower attack in the skill. Uh, that pretty much sums it up. For Ooh. Rude! Rude! And the other uh, big guy on the top? It's a new gal, it's a new target. Target chance, are you? Do you know who I am? The Turks, right? Not interested. I don't care. I think I'm gonna be an asshole. Yeah. I'm from the Turks. And don't you forget it. <laughs> oh. Kidnapping, right? Oh. Oh. What, what are they doing in like a, a, a cave like that? Out of nowhere. It's hard to explain. <laughs> what the fuck are they doing there? <laughs> and who's the fucking blonde guy? And it's a girl! It's oh, Lena! Oh, it's Alina! Alright, okay. <laughs> she looks like a guy. So, uh, then explain, Alina. So, Alina is kind of the, the rookie Turk. Oh, yeah. Wow. I'm the newest member of the Jerks, uh, Turks. <laughs> Alina. Reno. Okay. Okay, so they're still trying to find Sephiroth. Okay, yep. okay, I get it. That's so the same as in the movie, right? Uh, yeah, so you're kind of uh, in a race with Shinra to, to get your hands on Sephiroth. Okay, and that's uh, the other fucker. <laughs> Alina, you talk too much. So. This is Zang. Zang. Zang? Zang or Zang? I, I don't know. I, I'll go with I your... think it's Zang. Yeah, Zang. let's go with that. To file your report. Zang, the Asian guy. Elena's kind of bumpy. She has a bumpy butt. A bumpy butt? <laughs> How could you see a bumpy thing on like a pixel butt? <laughs> Instincts, I guess. <laughs> Junon Arbor. Okay, so we we got to go to Junon Arbor. Right? <laughs> oh, so this I, I like this character. She's goofy, like just revealing the secret agents. Rudy is goofy too, if I remember well. Yeah. Rudy is fucking goofy. Oh uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know if if you had Tifa on your team, I don't know if it, it would have affected the dialogues because later in the game Rudy mentioned that he has a crush on Tifa. Oh yeah? Yeah! Yeah, it's cute! So, uh, I would have been curious to see. So, so, so yeah, like, uh, Rudy is like the... the the silent shy guy, Alina is the goofy rookie, and Reno is kind of the, the, okay, the, so the Japanese asshole. We were from that part? Uh, yep. Yeah, go up, I think there is a little treasure. Here? Yep. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Yeah! Okay. End of a uh, fucking battle. A nice look. Oh, fire! Oh, 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 oh. We gotta run that. Flame throw time. I think you can do a fire, fire off. Yeah. Yep. On cloud, on cloud. Uh, you asshole. Oh, laggy shit. I'm gonna be right back. Alright. So, while it's in the front, he's gone for probably a PE or something like that. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna fight with the evil people there. I'm gonna use the barrel break and the floating thing. There you go! Oh, and he does that on Cloud! Which is good! Cloud limit break! Alright, let's go! Blade Beam! It kills! And it kills. All right. I didn't even I didn't even watch my hit points, so I just go there and check it before I run into the other fight, the next battle. Yeah. Okay, we're fine. So let's climb up there and go to. Oh, there's something there. No. Nope. Okay, and go through that door and run after. Oh. We're back in the world, 